It's been close, but no cigar for the North Stars lately. Their winning ways have come to a momentary halt, but things have been close, as I mentioned anyway. Witness Monday night, the St. Louis Blues. Brian Prop nails a goal to tie the game at three, but nonetheless, the Stars will have to put it in the winless column. Still, they've been playing much improved hockey with the playoffs just around the corner. Welcome to Los Angeles and the Great Western Forum. Tonight, it's the Minnesota North Stars and the Los Angeles King. Hello, everybody. This is Doug McLeod, and welcome to the Pacific Time Zone, and welcome back. By popular demand, we couldn't keep him off any longer. Lou Nanny is here with us on this broadcast tonight. He'll be along for the playoffs as well. And speaking of playoffs, Louis, kind of an interesting situation here. The North Stars wanting to play to be sharp going into the playoffs. But there's no question about their being in the playoffs or what position they'll finish in in the Norris Division. Quite a different situation out here in the Smythe where it's a red hot end of the season between Los Angeles and Calgary. Well, actually, uh, Los Angeles is really concerned about it because they have never won a division title. Since 1967, when expansion came, they are the only National Hockey League club of those original 12 that hasn't won a divisional title. P Pittsburgh won two nights ago, yeah. so now it's up to L.A., and they have to win both these games if Calgary wins the next two against Edmonton. And tonight, Calgary's already leading Edmonton 4 <laughs> nothing. So this is really big for Los Angeles, but I watched them play in the third period the other night against Edmonton, and if they play against us tonight the way they played against Edmonton the other night, we're going to beat them. Edmonton uh, really took it to them in the third period. L.A. was back on their heels. They played real good in the first period. But L.A. might be looking past the North Star tonight and that could be in the North Star's favor. It sure could and in this building you know anything can happen especially if the puck starts about the Los Angeles Kings and when you do that you got to talk about the 90 and 9. Wayne Gretzky who interestingly enough was on a goal scoring drought until lately. Well he scored two against Edmonton the other night when they went two nothing he got an open head goal as, as a matter of fact that was one of them but Gretzky is now 12 years in a row with 40 goals or more 11 years in a row with 100 points or more he's only played 942 games in the league he's got over 2,000 <laughs> points it's just amazing what this guy does and continues to do he tied Esposito for a third overall in goal scoring at 717 so he's looking to move up tonight if he can score a goal and at this time you'd have to say that uh, he's just been all the difference in the world for this Los Angeles Cup since he's been traded here. Also the guy behind probably the most expensive collect call in history with a Hannes Wagner baseball card <laughs> the other day which is now in the proud possession of Wayne Gretzky. He's so important to this team his number is part of the registration number of their 727 private airplane. It's LA 299. <laughs> That's how important he is to the team. Well, you talk about the rest of the Kings, and when you talk about Gretzky, you got to talk about Mr. McSorley as well. It is the North Stars and the Kings. Welcome back to the Great Western Forum in Los Angeles, along with Lou Nanny and our producer, director, Tom Mee. This is Doug McLeod, and set to go with this third from the last game of the regular season. Looking at the goaltenders for tonight, in the nets for the North Stars, John Casey, who's got a 2019 record. 20 wins, 19 losses, and for Los Angeles, Kelly Arudi with 25 wins, and the Los Angeles Kings have two goaltenders for the first time in their history with over 20 wins each. Kelly Arudi and Daniel Berthume. Former North Star, and the interesting thing is that Rudy, who posted his third shutout of the season against Edmonton Tuesday, is now getting the starting nod, and they've broken up their rotation, uh, basically uh, coming into it. Your referee is Ron Hogarth, Ryan Bozak, and Shane Heyer are the linesmen, and we're just about set to go, and the Stars and the L.A. Kings. Some other scores we're particularly interested in. In the third, Chicago is leading Toronto by a score of 3-1. to one. St. Louis is leading the Islanders 1-0. to nothing. And Scores of consequence in the Norris division tonight. Of course, we'll keep you up to date on those and all the others as the game goes along. Not in the lineup tonight for the North Stars. Neil Broughton, who's been sidelined with a flu. Kurt Giles, who's been pestered with that knee a little bit. Gaetan Duchesne. Uh, let's see, also out of the lineup is Chris Dahlquist. They're all back in the Twin Cities, and chance to get to Rob Zettler back in the lineup and get some game action here late in the season. Well, you're looking at Bobby Smith, and Bobby has really developed into a fine defensive center as well as the top center getting face-offs and good offensively. He's a fellow that the North Stars are looking forward to in the playoffs to give him some kind of leadership been through so many playoff years in his National Hockey League career and should be a big factor for them in the playoffs against what it looks like to be Chicago at this time. Here comes Bobby Smith now for the North Stars with that hit traffic and popped out. 
Kings have won three straight games after their back-to-back -back victories against Edmonton, one of which resulted in the suspension of Coach uh, Calgary game, rather, in there. It resulted in the suspension against uh, Coach Tom Webster. Now here come the Los Angeles Kings in the backhand shot by Tony Granato wide. He's a force whenever he's on the ice as well. As this sails into the King zone, it's icing on the North Stars. 56 seconds into the game. That's right. Tony Granato came over to the Los Angeles Kings last year along with Thomas Sandstrom for Bernie Nichols. At first, everybody thought the New York Rangers really robbed Los Angeles. But when you look at it, even last year, even though Nichols had a great year and he outscored both these guys, they gave Gretzky the type of wings he needs. People who can throw the puck around and skate. And this year, they've developed and blossomed together. Granato with 29 goals and and Sandstrom with 44 and that means that both of them now have got more goals than Bernie Nichols has the New York Rangers and definitely the big reasons why you see Los Angeles in first place in the Smite division looking for the first division championship ever. You saw on the Kings bench a couple of former college coaches Cap Raider and Rick Wilson who are running the show tonight while Tom Webster begins serving the suspension handed out by the National Hockey League. Doug Smale for the North Star. Buck is loose. McSorley with a punch at it. No score on the early going at the Great Western Forum in Los Angeles. With Robitaille. Pull it out of the corner now for Los Angeles. Wheels back. Robitaille shot deflected by Sean Chambers. A quiet building here tonight, but they've been getting huge, huge crowds. Sellouts all the way. McSorley's shot deflected along. Out of the corner, punched in from the point by Tim Waters. And the centering pass by Dave Taylor didn't go. Now McSorley couldn't keep it in. Doug Smale out for the North Stars. Gavin shovels it in. Swept ahead by Kelly Rudy. Kings only had a couple of goals in the 2-0 win against Edmonton the other night. It was Rudy between them that really did the job, and he took the hard one in his, one of his knees. Here's Madonna now for the North Stars. Swinging the center, prop out of the corner, slapped by Rudy. Dave Gagne. We'll talk with Dave Gagne later on tonight. They also have a feature package on outstanding number 15 of the North Stars, Mike Madonna. Slide it back, but here comes Madonna over the line. Drop pass too far for Prop. Gagne tipped it. It hit the skate of Jim Johnson. Gagne fires, drizzles toward the net, and it's tapped away by Rudy. Go pass to neutralize, picked up by the Kings. Almost the break for Steve Casper, but not quite. Now the Stars come out. Neil Wilkinson ahead for Berezan. Stars are changing as Barazan fires it off the end boards. Rudy slapping it the other way. Rob Blake with a check. Here comes Basil McRae into the corner. McRae behind the net against Brian Benning. Tapped up the wing boards. A shovel back by Zettler. Puck springing behind the net. Shane Churla bumped with Benning as they went behind the net. And we'll have a stoppage of play. 3.08 into the scoreless first period in Los Angeles. Taking a look at Bob Ganey, Bob himself in very good shape. Doug, today after practice, he and Bob Clark ran back to the hotel. Rather than take the bus, they want to get their daily jog in. And Clark gets a little uh, concerned when he runs with Ganey with those long legs. He says, Louie, he can run forever. So big, strong, and powerful. Continues to look after his body. Well, that's a job requirement if you're going to coach or be GM in the league, isn't it? you got to be able to move fast. <laughs> part, of the, part of the requirement. Buck fired into the Los Angeles zone. Rudy behind the net. There's no score. We played three minutes and 15 seconds of the first period. And mercy, it's quiet in here. <laughs> it felt like we're in a studio for a minute. Buck sails behind John Tonelli. It felt like we were in Edmonton for a minute is what it felt like. Ryan Benning turns it ahead. Now Rob Blake. It's kind of hard to get into the game when it's this quiet. Benning. This crowd really got lively in the third period the other night against Edmonton. Though. Yeah, it did. Rudy, as you said, made some great saves to keep Los Angeles ahead of them and finally got the shutout. He was sensational. Tonelli's pass broken up by Mark Tenorti. Against the sweep checking Casper. Here's Rob Zettler. Four minutes into a scoreless first period. Stars changing as Zettler drills it down. Now Smith, Bellows, and Dolan come on. Lynn and Chambers working on it. I think after all this time, we're finally squared away on Ulf Dahlin's name. He says the correct way to pronounce it is Dalian. He wants it pronounced Dahlin. 
I'm happy to accommodate. <laughs> in the left corner in the North Star zone, here's Bobby Smith. And they'll freeze it up there. 15-34 to go in the first no score in the game. We'll be right back to Los Angeles. You're looking at linesman Ryan Bozak, and he's wearing a helmet, and McLeod says it doesn't look like his. it's his. It's not. Yeah. He got cut the other night in the Edmonton game for 11 stitches. He had to leave the game, and they finished with just the referee, McCurry, and one linesman because Bozak was hurt and had to be attended to. So tonight he's put on a helmet. He's been with a helmet forever in his NHL career, but he's got a helmet on tonight for the first time. Whosoever it may be, it's protecting his head. And his eyes. And it his seems eyes. like it's down over his eyes. <laughs> That's some newspaper up there. Four and a half into his quiet, scoreless first period here in Los Angeles. Here's Bobby Smith for the North Stars. Away from Tony Granato. Now, number 22, Ulf Dollar. Here's Bobby Smith. Checked by McSorland. Bellows wheels in. On the end boards of the LA zone. How much would the Stars like to nail the first goal in this building here tonight? Gretzky out to neutralize. Tried to spring one for Thomas Sandstrom. Turned back by the Stars, just offside as it got to Brian Bellows of the North Stars. Los Angeles Kings are looking for their 34th sellout here tonight. They've just been on a tremendous streak. They've never had this many sellouts in the season. Edmonton, they had 33. Tonight, they says all the tickets should be gone, so it should be 34. And it's really amazing because when you look down around the circle, those seats closest to the ice, they sell those to the celebrities a lot, and those tickets are priced at $200 each. Oh, man. The first row along the boards, $200. And their Senate seats, which are the middle sections, go for $65. So their house, house here is uh, pretty high. They get a good gate. All it takes is money. Just over five minutes into the first, no score. Perry Berezan for the North Stars pops it in. There's Kelly Rudy. Posted his third shutout of the season against Edmonton on Tuesday, stopping 33 Oilers shots. Jim Johnson for the Stars for Basil McRae. Turned back, fired into the zone by Mike Donnelly. Here's Jim Johnson. Ward passes, turned back in by Donnelly. Checked by Verizon, the center turned back by McRae. Here comes Shane Sherlin now for the North Stars. There's no score in the game early on. Marty McSorley there with McRae. And sent McSorley down, dug out of the corner by Jim Thompson. Up and away from McCray, and bound to clear of John McIntyre. And here is Los Angeles' Tim Waters. Out to neutralize. Donnelly, ahead they go for Jim Thompson. Deck Dan into the North Star zone. Neil Wilkinson rips it ahead for Basil McCray. Away from Robitaille, turned back. Now Robitaille over the line. Swings and White shot right on and a save by Casey. One time drive by Larry Robinson, but no. He linked down on the corner. Now the shot by Robitaille right through the lip of the goal crease again and out to neutralize. Here's Steve Duchesne, number 28. Larry Robinson for the Kings. They bound. Here comes Zelik. He's had a hot hand lately. His shot feathered away by Casey. 13 and a half to go in a scoreless first period. Check in the corner by Mark Bureau wearing number 11. They'll pile it up there and freeze it up. No score in the game. 13 21 to go in the first period. KMSP Television has purchased the broadcast rights of the North Stars hockey game solely for the entertainment of our audience. No broadcast, rebroadcast, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this copyrighted telecast are permitted without written authority of the Minnesota North Stars and KMSP Television. With Lou Nanny, Doug McLeod at the Forum in Los Angeles, no score in the game, 13-21 to go in the first period. Toronto and Chicago now tied three apiece. The Leafs have nailed a couple more here in the third period. The Blues leading the Islanders 3-0 in the third Third, Calgary leading Edmonton 4 0 in the second in the game of interest for the folks out here. No score in this one. Here's Ulf Dahlin for the North Stars. Larry Robinson on him. The puck loose. And will roll up for Brian Bellows. Snaps it away from Gretzky. Larry Robinson. Out of the corner, Bobby Smith. Dahlin wants that puck. Smith got it to him. Off down in the circle, couldn't turn in then against Steve Duchesne. Now slipped clear by Tony Granato, and they slide it out to neutralize. Wayne Gretzky on the puck, possible two on one. It'll be two on two as Bellows comes back, tapped in for Granato. Center broken up there. And out comes Brian Bellows. Stars come to center as Bellows crosses the line. 
Waiting for it, Shane's the puck turned back by Steve Duchesne. Madonna had it a moment. Now Duchesne has it back for Los Angeles. Tonelli. Now Gretzky over the line for Los Angeles. Feathers it over to Brian Benning. And that sails up as a souvenir down over the glass behind John Casey. Well, the North Stars did a great job of back checking. The Los Angeles Kings like to get the puck out the center and get Gretzky in another four, getting the opposition caught on the two on one break. That's what it looked like was happening. All of a sudden, both Brian Bellows and Alf Dahlin came back. And it was a good thing both came back because the third man in the play was a defenseman. They always like to bring that defenseman late. He'll be third or fourth man in. One time it was uh, Duchesne, and this last time Brian Benning. The North Stars have to be aware of the late man coming up ice. We could already see, Doug, what the matchups look like they're going to be. The Kings want to have Gretzky's line against Bob Smith's line, and they'll put the checking line. I always have Tonelli out on the ice against Dave Gagne's line. Tonelli and Casper doing the majority of the checking for this club over the year. And they're out against uh, the North Stars top scoring line here with Gagne, Madonna, and Kroc. Gagne and Casper struggling for the faceoff. Now Chambers behind the net. Went past Brian Glenn. Gagne will pick it up deep. Stars keeping a guy back now. They don't get burned in their zone. Now Gagne comes out. Through Chambers reaching. Fencing with Brian Benning as they go to the corner. Bob Kudelski there, and it slides to neutral ice. Brian Glenn for Minnesota. 11.43 to go. Scoreless first period in Los Angeles. Madonna pumps one on, and Rudy deflects. Blake bumping. Puck sailing away. Brian Glenn in hot pursuit. That long stride of his. He gets there pretty fast. Pops it back into the King's zone. Here's Brian Benning. Long side of the line where they dumped it in, so that'll ice it with 11.27 to go in the first period. No score. The Stars lost their only appearance here Earlier on this season, 5-2 to two back on October 17th, and then won an overtime game on New Year's Eve at Met Center. The North Stars coming out of their own zone may be able, able to come out more effectively if they reverse the puck against the flow. Los Angeles likes to swarm after the puck. Many times you'll see them with three, four checkers in one corner. So the North Stars, if they get aware quickly and get the defenseman to split off in the corner or even another wing get back deep and fired back against the flow, they'll be able to come out easily. The Kings really use a swarming attack more so than any team in his division. Hopped in by McSorley and out of a crowd. 11-21 to go in the first. There's no score in the game. That will sail out. I want to say hello to all our North Star fans, and I know there are lots of them because we hear from them quite a bit over in the Crookston area out in western Minnesota, particularly to Fred Miller. Son Paul Miller, former North Star draft choice, was in the University of Minnesota program for a while and then wound up in uh, St. Cloud State. Had a nice chat with him uh, before the game. He's out here now with the Simplot Corporation. So Fred, want to say hello to you. He's looking pretty, pretty healthy out here, I must say. 11-18 to go in the first period, and there is no score. Arizan in for the faceoff for Minnesota against John McIntyre of the Los Angeles Kings, just to step inside the North Star zone. This line has got some winning goals for the Los Angeles Kings, particularly Mike Donnelly got three in the last month. Now working in McIntyre. Taken down by Berezan behind the net, and McIntyre may be hurt, and now, indeed, We'll stop play and take a look at it here as referee Ron Hogarth saw that right away. Now Basil McRae and Neil Wilkinson are exchanging colorful remarks with a couple of the Kings players. On the ice is John McIntyre. He's a big, strong fellow that came over from the Leafs. Berzan takes him into the boards. He loses his balance here, and you see him. He really can't stop himself Ooh. going right in, and Berzan on his back hits his shoulder, his left shoulder, and that's the way you separate him quite easily. He's up on his knees now. But Berzan doing a job of checking, just gets tangled up with him, and because of the weight and going towards the boards, Berzan rode him into the boards. A clean play, but just unfortunate. And McIntyre right now being attended to by the Kings trainer. I'm but taking some of that in the face, too, is he? McIntyre came over for Mike Krushelinski, who's now with the Maple Leafs, and he was a first round draft choice of the Leafs, and they might have given up on this kid a little too quickly. He's only 20 years old, he's a real competitive kid. So as they look at McIntyre, we'll look at this with 11.08 to go and a scoreless first in Los Angeles. Right now, and I mean this minute, is the time to purchase your 1991-92 North Star season tickets because right now the Stars have some great deals for season ticket holders. We've been talking about them, but in case you've been thinking about it, now is the time to act. 
with a great deal like this, you get an extra season ticket of equal value free for every two season tickets you purchase. And I mean, you can purchase as many season tickets as you want, and every two of them give you another one free. Plus, you get tickets to the last game of the season against Chicago and lots more. So don't wait. Call a North Star salesperson at 853-9420 or 1-800-53-STARS. You also get playoff priority, and the Hawks have just jumped out in front 4-3, and I'm certain it's going to be against Chicago, Doug. You know, secretly, well, not secretly, I think everybody hopes that, too. It's the team you love to hate, the Blackhawks. It's the team everybody likes to go watch play. Well, you know, we're hoping that we do the same thing they did to us in 82 when the North Stars <laughs> had 96 points. I think the Hawks had 54, and yep. they upset them, us in the first round of the playoffs in overtime, and we're hoping we could pay that one back. Very happy time. to return the favor. Of course, it was just a thrilling seven-game series last year against the Blackhawks in the playoffs. Uh, we'll see. 4-3 Hawks now, as Louie told you, in the third. Blues still leading the Islanders 3-0 in the third. Period. Toronto picked a heck of a time to get hot, didn't it? <laughs> After they'd mathematically been eliminated for the playoff. Jim Johnson shot deflected by Kelly Rudy, and McSorley brings the Kings back to center. Here's Gretzky. Stood up and off it by Tenorti. Nobody ever really hits Gretzky. They sort of line up on him and <laughs> well, him away. it's not because a lot of people wouldn't like to they he's so good to. on the skates yeah. his agility is outstanding and he's got great perception of where everybody is payback time would be something here's a drive by Gagne through a screen Tenorti to the corner now working over there with number 21 Tony Granato and it's pulled out by Granato Kings come away Larry Robinson and Gretzky Gretzky cutting in and scores Wayne Gretzky the Kings take the early lead. Gretzky had both the goals, one of them an empty netter against Edmonton the other day, breaking a 10-game goal-scoring drought. And he's got another one here tonight. Los Angeles halfway through the first leads one to nothing. He not only has got another one, he has just moved past Esposito with his 700th and 18th goal. It looks like he loses the puck here as he comes on Zettler. He loses it momentarily. That catches Zettler. He goes reaching for it, misses it, and with a great move as he gets to Casey, Goes back to his forehand at the last second, and Gretzky, again, does it like only Gretzky can, putting the Los Angeles Kings up one to nothing on an outstanding individual effort. 718 now for his career. Now he moves in on a former Los Angeles King named Marcel Dion, who is second with 731. Gordy Howe has 801. Nothing safe when 99 is around, and that's number 41 in the year for Wayne Gretzky. At 10:31 of the first period, it is one to nothing, Los Angeles. Now the Kings come back again. Pop back out of the zone. Robinson and Granado will get the assists. One nothing, Los Angeles. Doug Smale for the North Stars, taken down as he turned by Taylor. Rudy to serve it up behind the net, and LA's Brian Benning will pick it up. 8.43 to go in the first. Kings lead by one. Brian Glenn, or I'm sorry, Neil Wilkinson from Minnesota. Now Shane Sherlock crossing with Barazan. Drive goes high and wide. Barazan behind the net. Off the boards and out. Robitaille to neutral for Los Angeles, checked off it. Now the Kings open the right side for Jim Thompson. Possible two on one to the right, no. They go to the corner boards, and the Stars will shovel it. They'll get out of the zone. Now Shane Churla ahead to neutral. Basil McCray. Churla. Shot deflected by Rudy. Barazan sailing down there to bump with Jim Thompson. Buck squirts free. Basil McCray is there. Went to the backhand. Pulled free by Mike Donnelly. That slid too far for McIntyre. And a horse race. There's no icing here. Churla down on the corner now for Minnesota. Behind the net for Rob Zettler. Going to turn it away from Mike Donnelly. Smacked by Los Angeles' John McIntyre. Got a good bunch of Donnelly, too. Tenorti working on Donnelly in the corner. Berezan floating in. Number 17 is Jim Thompson for Los Angeles. Berezan off the boards. McCray. Stars need a change here pretty soon as it comes out to neutral, and now they'll take it. Or start to, anyway. Buck turned ahead by Thompson, but now Rob Zettler retrieves for Tenorti. Basil McCray. McSorley back in his own zone. And the Stars line change complete. Smith, Bellows, and Dolan. With Chambers. 
And Glenn, that's the North Star Quintet. Sean Chambers back in his own zone. McSorley turned back out by Chambers. Kings had to let it go anyway. 1-0 Los Angeles on Gretzky's 41st. Bellows with a driving check down on the corner on Waters. Buck loose, a drive by Chambers off traffic. Here's Alt Dolan to the corner. Now Bellows took a tap at it. Pulled out by Wayne Gretzky. Two on two, the Kings are at center. Here is Gretzky. With Kodelski now Waters. Kodelski up the left boards. Waters at the point for Los Angeles. Screen saved by Casey. Turned back now by Bobby Smith. Bodies all over the place. Puck under there somewhere down in the left corner. We can't see it any better than you can. Swept by Dolan. Popped in by Waters. Side six and a half to go in the first period. One nothing Los Angeles. Alf Dolan at center now for North Stars. Pops that one to the glove of Rudy as the Stars change. Wilkinson and Johnson with Prop, Donye and Madonna. Wilkinson for the North Stars behind his net. Too far for Prop, and as that sails into the King's zone and is touched by Blake, it's icing on the North Stars. 5.52 to go in the first period, and it was career goal number 718 by Wayne Gretzky that makes it the Kings one. The North Stars nothing. Well, the pace picked up a little bit because it got a little more physical. That's something the North Stars are going to have to do more of. Take the body in Los Angeles. Don't let, the, especially the Wings and Wayne Gretzky, get back into play so quickly. They've got to eliminate people by taking them out with the checks. Brian Benning for the Kings fires one on to John Casey. It's 1-0 Los Angeles with 5.45 to go in the first period. Gagne will visit with and look at Dave Gagne more later in our telecast tonight. Here is Gagne, number 15 to the line, kept in by Benning. Rob Blake for Los Angeles, and this rolls behind the net. Casper, number 11, after it. Checked off it by Wilkinson, and the puck comes out to neutral. Now Prop open it up for Gagne, right on the scene. Gagne turning, feathers it for Prop. Backhand shot, and he scores. Brian Prop nails his 25th of the year and ties the game for the North Stars. It's 1-1. One one. What a great effort oh, by oh. Brian Prop. Gagne came down, he lost the puck momentarily, but he made a super pass across, and Brian Prop, watch him have to fight off a check here. The pass is coming across, and Prop's being checked. He fights off the check, gets a backhand away, even though he's being grabbed by Bernardo, and he gets a backhander to tie this game up. A good play by Gagne, gets control of the puck, loses it just for a second, then gets it across. Now watch right here. Bernardo had Prop all tied up. He broke free and just got that backhander away and tied this game. Prop's 25th from Gagne at 14.43 of the first period. Now it's a 1-1 game. Kings out shooting the North Stars 8-4 in shots on goal. Bounding puck in the North Stars zone. Punched back in by Stu Gavin. Madonna will get the other assist on that goal at 14.43 of the first period. It's all evened up here inside five minutes to go in period one. The North Stars won and the Kings won. That's the North Stars' next home game and last home game of the regular season, Saturday night against, guess who, the Chicago Blackhawks. You can charge your tickets by phone at 989-5151 or stop by the North Star ticket office. And remember, that night is poster night at Met Center. Everybody attending the game gets a free North Stars team poster courtesy of Pillsbury. Pillsbury's even got the Doughboy in there. It's a great shot. People are going to like it. In the penalty box right now for Los Angeles, Todd Ellick. He closed his hand on the puck. He's got a penalty. North Star is going on the power play. First power play of the evening. Tied at one with 4.52 to go here in the first period. This power play, we're talking about a couple of broadcasts ago, has gone from being one of the worst percentage-wise in the league to ninth best now. 20.2% and about five or six points better than that in recent games since the All-Star break about eight points better. That's why the North Stars have moved up. Their specialty teams are much improved. They were 21st in penalty killing, 18th in power play, and they're way up now in ninth and 14th. Now Madonna for Bellows right through the front door. Here is Tenorti. First power play of the night for the North Stars. Kings hold opponents to about 16%. Gagne there. Rudy just got a piece of it. And the Kings whistle it away. And the North Stars really pressing. And now Gagne and McSorley getting into it a little bit coming out of the zone. Great give and go with Prop and Gagne to get Gagne free in front. But Rudy makes a save. Madonna's pass hit Gagne on the skate. Bellows back now for Mark Tenorti. Topped in neutral by McIntyre. Bellows has to hold on to get a couple of guys back on side. 
Now Tenorti in his own zone. One minute to go. 101, rather, in the North Star power play. 3.53 to go in a 1-1 first period. Reminder, our next cable telecast of North Star's hockey will be Saturday night at home against the Chicago Blackhawks on Midwest Sports Channel. Hope you'll join Dick Bremer and me for that broadcast as we close out the home season. Much prefer to see you at Met Center, but if you're out state and can't make it in, we'll have it for you on Midwest Sports Channel. North Star forwards have got to get back into play in this power play. They're standing flat-footed. Los Angeles has a very aggressive penalty kill team. They go at the puck area continually. If you're standing flat-footed, you're not going to have any momentum going. When you receive that pass, they're going to be on you. You've got to keep your own feet moving, and especially when the puck comes back into your own zone, you can't afford to have more than one guy over the red line to, to break up and spread apart that defense. The other two people have got to come back on your side of the red line, so they're in position to accept the pass. First intermission, Terry Crisp will be our guest, and we'll also have a feature on Dave Gagne. It's a little something for everybody tonight. Thanks for staying up late with us here on Receptive Channel 9 and across the Upper Midwest. 3.37 to go in the first 1-1 game, 45 seconds remaining on the North Star's first power play of the night. Kelly Rudy to the corner for Los Angeles. Kudelski was over after it. Now in the corner, they'll pop it away as John McIntyre jabbed it out to neutral. Chambers for Bobby Smith. 319 left in a 1-1 first. Great backhander goal by Brian Propp. Set up a strong skating and puck handling by Gagne. Wayne Gretzky has the marker for Los Angeles. Now Dolan and Smith down in the corner. Ten seconds of the power play as they muck along the end boards in the Los Angeles zone. Perry Berezan swings it away. Chambers with five on the power play. Shoots one. Save by Rudy. And it was just whacked away from Dolan at the last moment as he was right there for the rebound. That's the end of the power play. And the Kings are now at full strength. And now we're going to have a Kings power play. That's not a good penalty Berezan took there. It was really a needless play. The puck was already thrown in. Berezan was back checking and he just pulls the man down. Granado away from the play. He's definitely going to get a penalty and the Kings now get the opportunity. You'll see whenever the puck is thrown away and you're away from the play, there's no need to take a man down. When you take a man down, when he's out of the play, right as you see right there, when Berezan pulls Granado down, that's not a very strong penalty and it really can cost you. Got to stay away from those kind of things. The Kings come into this game with the fifth best power play in the league and just a shade under 21%. And it's an interesting turnabout for them because last year, you think of Los Angeles in recent years, you certainly don't think so much about defense. You think about 99 and all the rest of them poured in the goals, but they had the 17th power play in the league last year. It was certainly not a strong part of their game. But now, it's one of the things that's come together for Los Angeles this year. Special teams, defense, and of course, number 99 out there. And they've got some depth to it because now yeah. they can afford to put Robitaille, who's the leading left wing uh, scorer for the last couple seasons, on the second unit. Our play begins for the Kings as Berezan goes at 17 16 for the North Stars for holding. They've come up with two things. One, they've got the extra forwards. Here comes Smale. And it'll go back to neutral. And the other is they got a youngster, Rob Blake, on defense who can really shoot the puck. So that gives them two point men, Duchesne on one side, on one unit, and Blake on the other, where they've got people that are very effective controlling the play from the blue line. And Blake's got a good shot, and he can get it off, too. That's offside with <laughs> a minute 26 to go in the Kings' power play. And the Kings are a little upset about that, and they should be, because the puck never did cross the blue line. It never came into the zone, but... The linesman, Gene Heyer, was behind the play. He thought it came across the blue line. But it gives the North Stars an opportunity to change penalty killers. And at the same time, Los Angeles gets to rest a fellow like Gretzky. Like young Mark Bureau, one of the recent acquisitions with the North Stars, who's certainly stepped on and seen plenty of ice time since he came here. Another find out of the International League. 2-10 to go in the first. 1-1 one, one game with a minute 26 to go. In the holding penalty to Perry Berezan. Wayne Gretzky and Brian Propp on the goals. Chicago still leading Toronto 4-3 in the third. Drive by Benning, misfired to the right. Blues have defeated the Islanders now. That game is over, 3 to nothing. Flames over the Oilers, 4-3 in the second. Now the puck in the left corner in the North Star zone with a minute to go in the Kings' man advantage. It drizzled away, but a poke by Brian Benning kept it alive. 
Robitaille checked by Zettler. Taylor now swings it over to the right side. Comes back to Brian Benning. Shoots and a screen save by Casey. With 48 seconds to go in the Kings man advantage. You wonder why the Kings are so dangerous. They've got eight people that have scored more than 20 goals. That First amazing. time ever in their history. They're the second highest goal scoring team in the league also. They got 331 goals scored. And right now the only team ahead of them, Pittsburgh with 335. So they've got a good defense. They're third against and goals against. Third highest in goal scoring. And that really made for the success that they're having this year. And you know, when you look at them, they got 100 points, and they've only done that one other time in their history. Boy, in the super season. Talking about Pittsburgh, Louis. What a what a strong end of the season they had. They're won the division now, right, right in the playoffs. That trade seemed to make them getting Ronnie Francis, Alf Samuelson, and Grant Jennings from Hartford just at the sh trading deadline. They've been on a streak since then. Why they ever? Really give them some depth. When Ronnie Francis is your number two centerman, you know you've got some. <laughs> you've got some depth. Yeah, that's right. Now from the point, 45 seconds to go in the Kings power play. McSorley on the wing boards. Thompson up to the point, and it popped away from McSorley. Steve Duchesne for the Kings. And McSorley will pick it up at his own blue line. 28 seconds, and the North Stars will be in full strength. Chopped right along the line by John Tonelli. Cleared out of the zone now by Smale. And this skitter is back down into the Los Angeles zone. Good job done by the North Stars thus far, not giving Los Angeles that man in the slot area wide open for a shot. They're taking that away from him thus far. Last minute of play of the first period of a 1-1 game. Wayne Gretzky on the power play. Always oh, just dangling around out there. Now throws it to the slot, but no. McSorley as the power play expires. North Stars at full strength for Gretzky. Out of the corner against Jim Johnson. And Johnson will ride it out to neutral. Hacked at by Tonelli. Stars over the line, offside with 31 seconds to go in the first period. Well, the Stars controlling the play real well, and then most of all, keeping Gretzky away from controlling the puck behind the net. He likes to do that, and when he does that, it seems that your defense and your even defensive forwards collapse around the net, leaves the points wide open, and they like to sneak into that shooting area 35 feet out, and you know Gretzky, he gets yeah. him the puck. But this time, the Stars got on Gretzky real quick. He wasn't able to get behind the net and set up, and because of that, L.A. really didn't have any good scoring chances on that uh, man advantage. Barry Robinson for the Los Angeles Kings. Again, both teams are now at full strength. 21 seconds to go in a 1-1 first period. Zettler with a check. Trying to pop it away from Donnelly. At neutral, Rob Zettler retrieves for the Stars. Back for Tenorti in his own zone. Tenorti and Zettler with seven seconds to go in the period. Play catch with it here. Tenorti tried to whack it down, but instead it hit Bob Kodelski, who fires it, and that is the end of the first period with no additional damage done by either team. Kelly Rudy with one against in that period for Los Angeles. John Casey with one against in that period for the North Stars. And at the end of the first period, things are all tied up. And a reminder to enjoy the game with Domino's Pizza. Just call your local Domino's store now and you'll have a hot, fresh Domino's Pizza delivered to your door in 30 minutes. And wouldn't a Domino's Pizza taste great? Right now, 20 minutes in the book at the Great Western Forum in Los Angeles and on our Phoenix scoreboard, it's the North Stars 1 and the Kings 1. Hundred five three stars. We'll get you all squared away for a season of great NHL action. It is the North Stars 1 and the Los Angeles Kings 1, and we are underway with the second period. Now the puck comes back into the Los Angeles zone, and we'll start out again. Brock, back into the Minnesota end. Here is Tenorti. Madonna fell as he turned. Here's a turning drive by Kadelski. They scatter to the left side. Tenorti jumping it there. Donnelly working, or Tonelli rather working. Now turned away by the Stars. Gagne at neutral ice. Launched ahead behind Madonna. Starts changing behind the play. Center up for grabs. A pop at it by Prop, but it didn't go. And going to stop the play. And somebody play with a hand? Yeah, Apparently they, so. They called it a hand pass. Unfortunately for the North Stars, the first lead pass across to Madonna was bouncing. He had enough speed to be by the LA defenseman. When he finally did get it across, the puck, as you see here, it'll be bouncing. 
bounces up in the air and eventually right there with a the hand pass from Gagne over the prop. And you can't pass the puck with your hand when you get outside of your own defensive zone. So the whistle blows. You're allowing it in your own defensive zone now because too often when a man would lose a stick, he just passed with his hand to draw the whistle call and get a stick. Now they know you can't use that as a ploy to get a delay of the game in your own defensive zone, so they allow you to pass it in there. 47 seconds into the second period, 1-1 game. Prop and Gretzky with the goals in this one so far. Stars home for the big regular season finale. Poster night on Saturday night against the Chicago Blackhawks. Billows fires one wide. What a great playoff tune-up that one will be. And then the season finale here on Channel 9. Sunday night at St. Louis. And that should be a sizzler, too. Great hockey. We've got it all on TV for you. We'll see you at Met Center on Saturday night. Popped out to neutral, and there's the Los Angeles Kings, Thomas Sandstrom. Over the line, Granada. Dropped it back, Gretzky. Got through by Sandstrom, and too far as Rob Blake will have to chase it back into his own end now for Los Angeles. Now 90 seconds into the 1 1 second period. Gavin checked off it by Rob Blake. Smack as Jim Johnson turns and plants the check that opens the puck. And Tallinn. Will fire it back in again, the victim Thomas Sandstrom. Now back into the Los Angeles zone. Smale behind the net for Minnesota. Kicks it to the hash mark, and the drive is right on to Rudy, who made a big save. Now Chambers shoots screen, and Rudy saves. Smale now, two excellent ones through traffic for the North Stars, and Kelly Rudy was there. Now they go to the left side. Bureau can't wrestle in for it, and it comes out for Sean Chambers at the checkered line. Mark Perot just shaking his head. He had that point blank shot that Rudy made the save on, and then Chambers got the second one. Two good chances for the North Stars. Catching Gretzky's line out there on two line shifts. They really were tired, and they couldn't play very well defensively. North Stars had those two chances. Ryan Glenn for Minnesota. Two and a half into the second period, still 1 1. Chambers ahead. Bounding puck, Basil McRae popped away by McSorley. McRae comes up with it in the right circle. Now Sherla hit him in the skate. Backhand shot saved by Rudy. Jane Sherla lifted a pesky looking shot that Rudy had to bat away. Back they come through neutral ice. That drive goes right through the goal crease. Kept in by Marty McSorley. He'll fire it down to the right corner. They're wondering why everybody's cheering. They just put a score up on the board. Edmonton is tied down to 4-4. A 4-4 in the third period. I was looking around to see what it was. They've got score, scores for all the teams way up in the rafters here. So it's not exactly a line of sight, but everybody out here has been watching that particular little square uh, as much as they have anything else. Now they're cheering for the Kings to get going no because kids, go. <laughs> they know the Kings with a win here tonight by the Kings and a loss by Calgary. That's it. The Kings would have their first ever division title. Tenorti puts that one in. 16 and a half to go in a 1-1 first period. A long breakout pass for McIntyre didn't go as McIntyre was corkscrewed off it. Now the Stars come back out again. Johnson out too far for Gagne. Off the boards for Mike Donnelly. Open with a puck comes McIntyre. A shot saved by Casey on a dangerous rising shot that popped up about waist high. 16.09 to go in the second period. North Stars one and the Kings one. The Kings get a chance here by Jim Thompson on the far side. The pass goes across to McIntyre, and McIntyre just lays it back out to Thompson. He puts a shot in from high up, but an easy save for Casey. Score remains 1 1, 16 09 to go here in the second. The North Stars and the Kings. And the North Stars playing a very solid game thus far, not really giving the Kings the kind of chances they've been accustomed to this season. With eight 20 goal scorers and scoring 331 goals here. Now that Hawks Leaf score is a final. It is Chicago 5 and Toronto 3. Final score at Chicago Stadium tonight. So that thing's finally over. And again, the Blues beat the Islanders 3 to nothing. Those are both final scores. So with two games each left in the season, still three points separate the two. Madonna drops it back for Gagne, and it hit a crowd. It came right in on to Rudy. Still up on the doorstep, a punch by Gagne. Couldn't go. All kinds of traffic in front of Kelly Rudy. Madonna to the corner. Prop, rolling puck. Here's Gagne on the right side. Stuttering down by John Tonelli. He was not checked, just lost his balance. Now Steve Duchesne working in the corner for 
Los Angeles. Madonna floating over there. Gagne is checked by Casper. Now Madonna in traffic. Here's Wilkinson with a drive save. Rebound. Turned out by Bob Kodelski. Kings come to center. Gagne taken down behind the play by Larry Robinson and then got him right back. Now they sail one of the North Stars. Tonelli. They pile up there. Tonelli lost his helmet. Gagne's about had it here, and he comes up this time on Kadelski. And they've been trading it a little bit here. And apparently that will be all of that. We've played five minutes, three seconds of the second period. It's still the North Stars won and the Kings won. You see the Kings get involved in a physical play. They're no strangers to it. They're the second leading team in the league getting penalties 28 minutes a game they're averaging number one in the league Chicago number three Calgary many times it goes hand in hand the most penalized team also lead the league they got to be able to kill penalties but they play aggressively and they get chances shot of the Kings bench again cap Raider and Rick Wilson Kings head coach Tom Webster suspended by the league today for four games as a result of those little incidents against the Calgary Flames on Saturday now the Puck in the North Star zone with 14.38 to go in the second period of a 1-1 game. Played behind the net by Thomas Sandstrom of the Kings. And up over the glass and down into a crowd. The Kings getting Kadelski back off a bruised ankle. He'd been out seven or eight games with that thing. And Jay Miller still hampered by a bruised shoulder. The North Stars, with the exception of the uh, little knee that continues to bother Kurt Giles and the bout of the flu, I guess it was, for Neil Broughton, remarkably injury-free at this point in the year for the first time in quite a while. Well, the North Stars thus far in this period has certainly have had the edge in play and had the, by far the better chances. Had three good scoring chances thus far. Playing a solid game and got to continue to do that. Don't give this high-scoring machine any opportunities. Check him close, frustrate him. And that's what the Stars have been doing thus far. And led by this line, Bobby Smith's line, whose job it is to stop Gretzky's line. They got caught once they were out there. Smith's line had to get off because Gretzky sees out so long. And sure enough, Gretzky scores a goal. And they nearly caught Gretzky's line out too long, as you mentioned earlier. Back out comes Brian Benning for Los Angeles. Away to Tony Granato. Then around the check, poked by Glenn and broken up. Chambers to the line, kept in by Benning. Otto trying to play it behind the net, kept to the line, popped in on a slow, sort of a changeup by Rob Blake. Played out now by Chambers, back at the checkered line. Thomas Sandstrom rolls back to neutral ice. Now Marty McSorley, the double threes for Los Angeles. That went behind Sandstrom and into the North Star zone. Sean Chambers will pick it up. 12-10 Los Angeles, shots on goal. Here is Chambers. They bat it down, and Tim Waters will slice one out to neutral ice. Kings chase, Dave Taylor to the corner. Centering, and a little one-time chipper by Ellick. Stu Gavin picks it up for the North Stars, away to Bureau at neutral. Here comes the speedy smell on a quick center for Gavin. And the Kings come out again. Dave Taylor for Los Angeles. They stack the line. Robotai floating it down for Ellick, but no. And Duro will pull it away. 1-1 game in the second. Doug Smale with Gavin. Now it is Johnson with a drive. Hit a skate. Luke Robotai behind the net for Los Angeles. Gavin closing in. Robotai got it out to neutral. McSorley over the line for Ellick. Out Ellick behind the net for Los Angeles. Centered out by Kandelski, a drive hit Johnson and did not get on. Casey had already gone and was, would have been a position for the stop in any event. Now here is Bob Kandelski. McSorley and Smale along the high boards. McSorley fires one off the glove of Casey. Behind the net they go. Here's Perry Berezan for Minnesota. The North Stars come out. Berezan. Stars need a change, so he'll wind up back there with Sherlin and McRae hustling off the bench to help. Berezan pulled down. Buck to neutralize. Rob Zettler and Mark Tenorti go after it. Zettler takes the puck. Tenorti takes the on-rushing Donnelly. Now to neutral. Here is Basil McRae. Berezan with a deep slot and turned back out. 
by the Kings. Larry Robinson at neutral ice. Los Angeles with a puck. Donnelly almost offside. Tenorti picks it out of his slot. Mark Tenorti away for Basil McRae. Stars at neutral. Over the line. McRae, Barazan shoots. What a save by Rudy. Off the way to the corner by Larry Robertson. There is Steve Casper, number 11 for Los Angeles. Donnelly on the far board. Nine minutes into it, 1 1 second period. And the Kings will go for a change. On stop here, here is Shane Sherlin. Too far for Barazan. Turned ahead by Rob Blake of the Kings. Stars need to complete a change, and now they do as Glenn floats that one. That was tip coming through neutral, so they wave off icing and play goes on. Brian Benning away from behind his net. Casper is there at neutral. Possible two on one. Madonna will go to break that one up, though, and nothing came of it. Now Benning from the point for Los Angeles, and that sails up into the crowd. Stars one and the Kings one with ten and a half to go in the second. Good up and down action there by both the Kings and the North Stars, but then the speed of Madano catches the Kings. It looked like the Kings had a two on one break. Madano able to come back with his great speed and ride Casper off the puck. Puck got thrown over the glass, got a face off outside the North Stars zone. 10 28 to go here in the second period. Kings and the Stars tied at one. One of the things the Kings have been very happy with this year is that they have winning regular season records against all the other teams in the Smythe division. That's the first time that's happened since the present divisional alignment in 82. In fact, only two teams in the league have winning records for the season against the Kings, Boston and the New York Rangers. Not, of course, full division type seasons or uh, series. Those are all three game non-divisional series. Puck in the North Stars zone, pulled away by John Tinelli to the line, a drive by Benning. Back for Benning at the point. Whoa, and right to the goal crease, and it'll go in as Steve Casper jumps on the garbage and pops it in as the puck just drizzled away, and it's 2-1 to one, Los Angeles at exactly 10 minutes of the second. Well, the puck was kept in, thrown around the glass. Casey comes out of his net. There were already two people behind, but I guess he thought he was going to get to it. Took a crazy hop. He gets caught behind the net. And that man there, Steve Casper, all alone in front of the net. Look at this. He's got nothing but a wide open net to put it in. And that's not a good omen for the North Stars because any time he scored a goal, Casper, the Kings have won the game. They've won seven and tied one. And right there you see Casper all alone as Casey gets caught going behind. Try to recover. It was too late. And the puck is just left right on the doorstep for an opening for Casper. Puts him up into a 2-1 lead. That is Casper's ninth goal and 25th point of the season at 10 minutes of the second period. Benning and Tonelli will get the assists on the goal to put the Kings up now by one. That one goes off the pad of John Casey and Jim Johnson will pull it away. Turn back by Waters. Stars get it out. All Dolan at his line. Kings punch it back in again. That was the 15th shot on goal of the game for the Kings. 15-11 now in shots. And that was Casey's best save. It was a great chance by Granada, but Casey made the save. Stars wheel back. Here's Bellows to shoot right on, and Rudy will hold on to that one. 9-12 to go in the second period. Now it's the Kings 2 and the North Stars 1. If you've even been thinking about North Star season tickets. Stop thinking and take action right now. We've got a great deal for you right now. The Stars Advantage program includes free preferred parking, playoff seating priority, merchandise discounts, access to private clubs, so much more. And remember, you got an extra season ticket of equal value free for every two you purchase. It's a tremendous deal, so don't wait. Call the North Stars at 853-9420 or 1-800-53-STARS. With Lou Nanny, Doug McLeod at the Great Western Forum in Los Angeles. Nine minutes to go in the second period. Los Angeles 2 and the North Stars 1. Now Taylor, broken up on a little check by Bureau. Bellows back for Bureau, back for Bellows, back for Bureau. Steve Duchesne turned it free, and Alec will slide it out to neutral ice. Here is Duchesne, crossing the line now for Los Angeles. Checked by Zettler, they go to the corner. Dave Taylor over for Los Angeles, puck pulled away by Zettler, and comes to neutral. Bureau got a splinter on it, went back and forth at the line, and so they'll 
stop it there with 8.27 to go in the second period. Los Angeles leading the North Stars 2-1. to one. You're looking at Bob Ganey right now as he goes over to talk to Brian Bellows. Bellows and Bureau had a good give and go there coming into the offensive zone. They went down on the Rudy. Bellows gave it to Bureau back to Bellows. And then Bellows had the opportunity to shoot from the angle. When you got nothing to do with it, it's not wrong to put it on the net. He elected to give it back to Bureau. By this time, the LA Kings had got some help from their cinnamon Alec, and they just took the puck away. They had three on two. Whenever you're down deep in that zone, you got nothing to do with it. Put it on the net because your other man, your wingman, should be going for the net. He might get a rebound. At least he got a shot on net, maybe a chance to score. Don't just turn it over without really getting an opportunity. Brian Glenn away now for Mark Guerreau. Guerreau over the line. Now Gavin centered. Guerreau was being checked and held off it by Tim Waters of the Kings. Guerreau right down on the goal crease now behind Rudy. And there was Waters number five camp there again. John Chambers. Now past Gavin fencing there with McSorley. And Gavin got it back to neutralize. But McSorley will turn it back in. Down by Casey. Brian Glenn away for the North Stars. Here's Smale. And sails in as the Stars change. Picked up by Rob Blake, the Kings defenseman. Just over seven and a half to go in the second. Two to one Los Angeles. Last game of the regular season. Event center Saturday night and then the playoff. Sandstrom squirts through and hit the goal post. Casey went down, blocked the shot. Sandstrom clanged one off the metal and back down come the North Stars. Barazan a blast deflected off. Drops behind the net. Barazan there again. Loose puck in the King's zone. Here's Barazan locked up with Sandstrom. In comes Basil McRae. The puck just sitting there as everybody tries to get a piece of wood on it. And finally turned out by Bob Kudelski of the Kings. And he'll let Rob Blake, the defenseman, set it up. And Kings will slow it down until they see what they like. Now out they come. Batted down at the Stars line by Jim Johnson. Thrown in by Benning of the Kings. Casey behind the net with 6.41 to go in the second. 2-1 to one Los Angeles. Go ahead goal by Steve Casper at 10 minutes of the second period. Barazan. Now the King of Steve Duchesne. Rips one up to the far boards. The give back will send it away. Sailed through everybody. There'll be no icing here. John Tonelli back there for Los Angeles. Nothing doing. Tenorti now for Zettler. Rob Zettler. Tonelli hacking away on him. Here comes Bobby Smith. North Stars at neutral. Smith checked by Casper. Tenorti pulls it back and opens it wide for Zettler. For Smith. Into the King zone. And LA's Larry Robinson. And sailed through everybody. And as John Chambers touches the puck, it's icing on Los Angeles with 5.53 to go in the second period. Now it's L.A. 2 and the North Stars 1. Sandstrom broke away from Berezan and Wilkinson cuts to the net, makes a fake to the far side, comes back, but he couldn't make it quite good enough as Casey laying across the net. Didn't give him too much to shoot at. Sandstrom still got a backhand away, but it hit the pipe. A great move by Sandstrom, but not quite good enough. Casey played him right up high, stayed right there, and Sandstrom had to cut back, and he just didn't have enough time to get that shot around Casey into the net. Tim Waters away for Los Angeles. 5.47 to go in the second period. Los Angeles 2, North Stars 1. Madonna got it out of a crowd. Gagne ahead, prop reaching, but it was turned away by Robitaille. Sorley for L.A. Here's Luke Robitaille. And Sorley heading after it. A poke by Chambers. Drops in front of Ellick. Whoops, unattended. Here comes Robitaille on Casey. The shot. A score. Luke Robitaille as he went to the backhand and lifted it up to the back of the net. And Los Angeles makes it 3-1 to one on Robitaille's 44th goal of the year. Actually, the Kings had a 2 on nothing break. Granglin went to get the puck. He just overskated it. The puck's free all alone, and both Ellick and Robitaille were there. Robitaille picks it up, goes down, and makes a good backhand move and scores the goal. The puck comes free right here, and watch, here comes Glynn. He just went to get it, overskated it, and all of a sudden it comes right free to Robitaille. He just puts it away, and the closest guy to him was Ellick. See that right there? That's when Glynn thought he had it on his backhand, didn't quite get it. Robitaille did. 
He comes in all alone and beats Casey to give the Kings a two goal lead, three to one. So that ties Robotai with Thomas Sandstrom now for the Kings goal scoring lead at 44. 14.36 of the second period, the time of the goal. And now icing on the North Stars. 5.10 to go in second, Los Angeles three and Minnesota one. Well, the Kings, even though they've only got 16 shots on net, the 13 to the North Stars get two big breaks, one off the glass. When Casey went behind the net, a freak bounce, all alone in front's Casper, he scores. And now, a turnover in the North Star zone, just by defenseman overskating it, gives Robotai a chance, he scores, and the Kings up three to one. He gave an assist on the play, Doug. I don't yeah, know how. Alec and McSorley got points on it. That's called home ice advantage, friends. It is three to one, Los Angeles. Johnny nice, nice actually pushed it back to Glenn, and, and Glenn nice little, uh, had a stick uh, on it momentarily, but he didn't quite get control of it. 4.47 to go in the second period. Kings three, North Stars one. Here comes Doug Smale. Smale with a Jets going, dropped it back, and it was poked away by Brian Benning. Rob Blake will play it away for Los Angeles. Here's Gretzky who got the first goal of the game. Blake almost split through, but there's Neil Wilkinson to turn that away. And they'll freeze it up now on the right corner boards in the North Star zone with 4.25 to go in the second period. 3-1 Los Angeles, robotized 44th for Melick and McSorley on a two on nothing break at 14.36 of the second. Well, Smale had a chance there. He was skating away from Benning. He did have a good angle to shoot at. He saw Bureau trailing on the play. He thought he'd fool Benny. He tried a good little dumb pass. Benny actually skated right into the pass, broke it up. And the North Stars didn't even get a shot on net. You're trailing three to one, and you've got a man between you and the trailer. You might as well go for the shot. Take the opportunity. It might go in the net. You might get a rebound. But the North Stars are starting to pass up shooting opportunities. Have got to start putting the puck on the net when they've got a chance to score a goal. Mark Tenorti now for the North Stars at center ice. Feature package on Dave Gagne and a look at the top 10 saves of recent games. Package also in the second intermission. Here's Alt Dahlen. Fellows heading down to the right corner. Steve Duchesne with a check pulled free. Dahlen flaring save. Rudy as they crash it. Outlet patted down by Zettler. And the Kings got it out of the zone. Steve Casper to the line. That's kicked over. The Kings will have to let that one go or be offside. Smith away for Dollar. Oh, Dollar shoots one off the side. Now the Kings with 3.35 to go in the second period and a 3-1 lead. Pop one into the North Star zone. Of course, everybody here keeping an eye on the Oilers' flame score, which is still tied at four in the third period. Glenn for Minnesota. Kelly Rudy. That headband trailing down behind his helmet. Put it away. Here comes Mike Donnelly out for Los Angeles. He's got Thompson on the way. Marazan for Minnesota. Up for Chambers. Here's Shane Sherlock crossing the line. And to tap it back for Chambers. Got caught up in the skates of Tim Waters. Marty McSorley. Under three minutes to go in the second period, and now a little tussle between Shane Sherla and Tim Waters, and they're both going to go. Well, what bothers me about this call is Waters is holding Churla for a long time. Churla finally swings at him, so then he gives them both penalties. If you're going to call a penalty, call it initially. Should have called Waters right away on holding. He doesn't, so Churla swings, so now Waters will probably get holding, and Churla will get roughing. If he's holding him too long, then blow the whistle. Make yeah. the call. The fans here are booing. <laughs> Coincidental minors to Churla and Waters at 17.07. Churla gets the roughing and holding indeed to Waters as Mr. Nanny called it for you. Fans, as we mentioned, the next and last home game of the regular season is against the team. Looks like the Stars will be playing in the playoffs. That's not official yet, but the Chicago Blackhawks will be at Met Center Saturday night. Hope to see you there. Post your night at the Met. You can charge your tickets by phone at 989-5151 or stop by the Stars ticket office at Met Center. Remember, student rush. Student seats available for 9.50, one hour prior to game time. 
the Chicago Blackhawks. Town on Saturday night. And then Sunday, the Stars will be closing out the regular season at St. Louis, another key Norris Division matchup. Regardless of the standings, of the Saturday night game for you on Midwest Sports Channel, the Sunday night game in St. Louis, right here on Receptive Channel 9. And on into the playoffs. Easy to remember playoff dates. They start on the 4th, and they're odd dates all the way through. And with 2.33 to go in the second period, it is the Los Angeles Kings 3, the North Stars 1, and we'll face it off back in the North Stars. Are you going to talk to Mary Hart? If she has time, she's going to come back. That's her with her husband, Bert Sugarman, the producer. The stars come out here in Los Angeles every game. Last game, Bruce Nor or Chuck Norris. Should have been here tonight for the Norris <laughs> division. He usually does sit over there by the penalty box. As I was saying, he charged $100 or $200 each for those seats. Yeah, he's a big Kings fan. Jock Handy, yeah. of course, has always been a big fan. Tony Danz is here yeah. almost every game. You see Danz here quite often. They've got a whole bunch of stars that uh, even play hockey. They've got the Hollywood celebrities, as you know. Alan Thick plays with them. Uh, McIver. Uh, Richard Dean Anderson from Minnesota plays with them. You're looking at Bruce McDowell. We have a feature that we're working games. on, as a matter of fact, on that Hollywood Stars team, which is kind of interesting. We'll hopefully get to see it here in, a, in another telecast or two. Bruce McNall, who, of course, is also in the racehorse business, the coin and stamp and uh, you name it. Football now. He bought the Toronto Football. Argonauts Ian, with Gretzky. Ian and Gretzky in the CFL now. Take your pick. Collecting franchises or baseball cards. Bellows back, popped away. Now here come the Kings. Thomas Sanford couldn't go. Shot back by Wilkinson. Bobby Smith for Brian Bellows. Stars down by two. Bellows shoots and Rudy will hang on on a belly high save with two minutes, two seconds to go in the second period. Casper and Robitaille in this period for L.A. The Edmonton-Calgary game is now at the end of regulation time, we are told, and tied at four. So they're going to overtime. You know, three of the goals were scored here tonight. Got scored on uh, Prop Gagne and Madano. Two of them real fluky goals, but Andy doesn't care if they're fluky or not. He's going to get their attention, and he made a miss a shift. He's coming right back to the Bureau's line and since that last goal. He, he'll make certain that some forward is back. Whether they scored or not, he'll say somebody's got to be back to back up the play, and he's just getting their attention defensively to make sure that they're sharp. Now Brian Benning for Los Angeles. Sail past Robitaille. Tenorti sails after it for Minnesota. 1.51 to go in the second period. 3-1 Los Angeles. Snail for Gavin. Stu Gavin for Minnesota. Shooting and goodbye. A sand wedge on that one and popped her out over the glass. The Stars are able to force the Los Angeles defense back. The one thing the Kings aren't doing is standing up in the blue line. So the Stars are gaining control of the, the zone. But every time they do, they're going wide. They're being forced wide. Either they're not shooting or they're just taking the puck down deep and waiting too long to shoot. They're getting the shots deflected. Once they go wide, they've either got to lay the puck back, do something like Gretzky does and the King does, lay it back to an oncoming defenseman or lay forward, or at least get the shot away quick on the net. Mark Tenorti for the North Stars. Trying to wheel away from Dave Taylor. Pops that, and that just caught the top of the glass and popped over again. And we'll face it off from the point of the shot as Kelly Rudy goes to the water bottle the other night against Edmonton he uh, took a terrific shot in the knee and he was in some pain but uh, got up and, and finished and continued to do the job he took a third period on his left knee a shot that just exploded off it he had been in a rotation with former North Star Daniel Berthiaume but here lately it's been all Rudy now Tenorti back in his own zone for Minnesota. 121 to go in the second. 3-1 Los Angeles lead. Delighted you stayed up late with us back home. After 11 o'clock now. But glad to be with you. Here's Mark Tenorti now for Minnesota away from Ellen. Smale. Stu Gavin in the neutral zone. Slipped it for Bureau. Mark Bureau. Checked by Blake. A drive by Smale wide. Again, they smash into Rudy, and now we're going to have a penalty as the puck came back out again. That's a terrible call. Oh, Tenorti's, going, Tenorti's going towards the net. 
and the pass is coming there, and he's going to give him probably a roughing call because he ran into the goaltender interference. There's the only lines oh. in the league who's big enough to keep Mark Tenorti away from the referee, and Shane Heyer is 6'9". Oh, and is Mark Tenorti hot? I he's can't hot. Blame I don't blame him. him. He's nope. going right for the net. He had no intention of going into anybody. Watch this. He's going right to the net right here, and he's coming full speed. He tries to stop. He can't. And look at the act by Haruti. That is such a brutal call. I, I, I mean, I get upset in that kind of thing. He, Tenorti even tried to stop. Haruti looks like he got shot by a gun. And so all of a sudden, Hogarth says, oh, he's really running into him. Look at this. Look. That's amazing. That's just simply amazing. That got called as interference, friends. And the Los Angeles Kings are going to get their second power play of the night, leading 3-1. to one. You can see the steam coming out of Mark Tenorti's helmet, I suspect, if you're down close. And you can't blame him. Tenorti for interference at 19.04 of the second. Boy, after the games like that, when you see a call like that, you'd like to take the official and after the game say, how do you call this? After the hooking and grabbing, he lets go away from the play and some that take scoring chance away and then call something that is incidental. Rudy uh, gave a, a real good act there, and that's something that you do it good enough, you get away with it. Fans reacting to the fact that the Oilers-Flames game has been posted as overtime now, not final, but it is 4-4 going into overtime. People are down with their hands on their heads and over their faces. <laughs> They're tying out here for the Spy Division Championship. First ever for the Kings. Now the puck in the star zone as they'll try to clear it. Smale, Bureau, Wilkinson, and Johnson, the penalty killers. Kings in the power play for 90 seconds. 26 seconds left in the second period. 3-1 Los Angeles. Those are all the numbers. Now here is Rob Blake for Gretzky. 15 of the period. Blake with a drive. Snapped away. Gretzky. Misfired on the way in for Granado. 10 seconds left in the period. And the... Kings Rob Blake will pick it up at neutral ice as we'll get one final drive, a turnaround shot by Granado, but that is all. Period expires, and when we come back for the third period of play, Los Angeles will still have a minute four left on its second power play of the night. That is the end of the second period on our Phoenix scoreboard. It's the Los Angeles Kings three and the Minnesota North Stars one. Wave? This is a tidal wave. A tidal wave? Tidal wave! Right now, save 20% on all music and video. Or rent any video for a dollar a day. Amazing! Buy any music or video and save 20%. Rent any video for a dollar a day. But be careful. With this many titles, you could get in over your head. Tidal wave, music and video store. Save now during the grand opening of the newest tidal wave in Columbia Heights. You'll get all the Stars Advantage perks, like preferred parking, exclusive club memberships, and merchandise discounts. It's a great idea. If you need help finding someone to share your tickets, we'll help you out. So call 853-9420. That's the number. Or toll-free 1-800-53-STARS. Let's talk season tickets with the Minnesota North Stars, and there is no better place to watch a pro hockey game than Met Center. It's going to be rocking and rolling here with the Chicago Blackhawks coming in Saturday night, poster night at the Met, and then very likely the Blackhawks again for the playoffs. And that poster, by the way, that Pillsbury put together with the Doughboy is just a great picture. It's going to be an excellent souvenir item for all the fans. Everybody coming will receive one. Looking for a big crowd Saturday night, last regular season home game, and then, of course, on into the playoffs. Second period underway, 3-1 the Kings. Stars now with 41 seconds of penalty to kill off on that groaner of an interference penalty assigned to Mark Tenorti at 19.04 of the second period. You can't let that worry. you got to go out and kill it off and get right back to it here. And so here come the Kings, Granado. But the puck will be turned right away by Neil Wilkinson. Granado picks it out of the corner for Los Angeles. 22 seconds on the Kings' power play. Gretzky in front. Now Granado wheeling for it. Wilkinson... Backhands a high one, and it'll sail out to neutral ice. Rob Blake for the Kings. They'll have to let that one go or be offside. Stars black it out. A minute into the third period. Now four seconds. The Stars will be at full strength. Wayne Gretzky. That's the end of the power play. North Stars full strength. Gretzky throws it in. Sandstrom behind the net. McSorley got turned around. And Jim Johnson goes down. There's going to be a penalty coming as Johnson had gone to play the puck. 
and wound up on the deck and Sandstrom over bent over him as well stars power play when we come back early in the third period. You're looking at Thomas Sandstrom who slashed Jimmy Johnson down by the net actually hooked him tripped him slashed him whatever you want to call but the, <laughs> Take your the call is being called right here with the Kings getting a penalty the North Stars going on a power play. And Sandstrom sitting out the penalty with the Kings leading three to one here in the third period. This Kings hockey club is so hot at home of late they're eight one and one in the last ten games Played extremely well here over the last past month. Second power play of the night now for the North Stars early in the third period lots of time. And only a two goal margin on the road. Stars with two of their last three games in the regular season on the road closing at St. Louis on Sunday night with that big home game against the Blackhawks on Saturday night in between Hawks beat Toronto tonight five to three while the Blues whitewash the Islanders three to nothing. Here's Mark Tenorti now on the power play for Minnesota. Prop. Gagne down the wing boards. Bellows down to help. Buck down there somewhere under Tim Waters. And now McSorley and Bellows pop each other a little bit. Good reaction there by Bellows, just giving it right back to McSorley. You don't let him take advantage of you. And McSorley doesn't fight that much anymore. He knows he's valuable on the ice, but he still wants to get an advantage. Many times if you try and intimidate a player and you get away with it, you get that advantage. But Brian wasn't going to let him do that. They're still giving each other a little bit of lip. You see Gagne going in the corner, and this is when Waters is on top of him. Bellows comes in, and next you'll see McSorley coming in, shoving uh, Gagne down. So <laughs> Gagne took the first oh, shot yeah. at him. We couldn't see that the from the first angle. <laughs> Bellows in to help Gagne, and good team effort no matter what it takes. Mark Tenorti ready for anything. Amazing thing about these Kings is they've given up over 80 <laughs> less goals this season than they did last year. And McSorley's one of the main reasons why. As I said earlier, 45 plus coming into the game today, second highest in the league. He's been very solid defensively. He's had his best year by far. Stars with a minute 18 remaining on their power play. Early third period, 3-1 Kings. Here's Bellows for Minnesota. Wheels it down to the corner, tipped by Gagne behind the net. Brian Prop checked as he turned by Larry Robinson of Los Angeles. Rob Blake in there digging away. Robinson trying to pull it clear of Prop, but there's Bellows trying to slide it up high for Madonna, but it's turned out of the zone by Steve Casper of the Kings and all the way back into the North Star end. North Star passing's got to get sharper in his power play. That's been his biggest downfall thus far. Brian Bellows crossing with Gagne, shoots one. Out of the left side. Pass prop kept in by Madonna. 39 on the power play for Minnesota. Gagne there. Try to center for Bellows. Check four and a half. Prop goes to the corner for Minnesota with Blake closing in. Now Bellows wheels it up the boards. Brian Bellows. Good move. A drive score with two stars camped on the lip of the goal crease as Brian Bellows wheeled and teed it up. And the Stars score on a power play goal not three minutes into the third period. It's a one goal game now. Los Angeles three and Minnesota two. Well, Gagne might have tipped it, but a great effort by Bellows. He fakes a pass back to the point, makes a good move and gets in the slot area. He shoots and he's got both Prop and Gagne, one on each side of the goal. Watch this move by Bellows. He looks like he's going to give it back and he drags McIntyre in right there. See that? Great. Now move. he shoots it towards the net and both Prop and Gagne there at the goal. Here's a good shot. And Bellows good taking it, letting it fly. We can't tell right here if Gagne did get a piece of it. It might have hit Gagne's leg. Might have. But if not, Bellows will get the goal. Needless to say, the North Stars cut the deficit to one. Feeling three to two on the power play goal. They'll announce it and we'll let you know. Certainly Bellows the impetus for that one. Whether indeed he gets the goal, we'll find out in a moment. But he'll get a big point on it regardless. And indeed it will be Brian Bellows goal at 2.47 of the period. Prop and Gagne get the assists in a crowd. And it's three to two. Bellows 34th goal of the year. Back come the stars. Gavin centers. No, here's a drive that just missed the mark as Rudy held his ground down. Wilkinson back out of neutral ice. Good save there on Sean Chambers, oh. who was on the far side of the net. Rudy sliding across, stacked his pads, and just was able to get it because Chambers was on the far side, but had the good 
presence of mind and hand skills to get that puck up. And it looked like it was going to go in the empty net, but Rudy with a big save. Power play goal for the Stars makes this a 3-2 game. The only power play for either team in four opportunities here tonight. Bonelski right in front they go, but no deflection as Casper was checked. And we're going to have a tripping penalty now that's going to give Los Angeles a power play when we come back. 3-2 Los Angeles lead. You're looking at Brian Bellows who took down John Tonelli going to the net gets a tripping penalty. The North Stars will be shorthanded again right after they had an opportunity to score earlier. You see him right there. That's Bellows taking him down. Good back check by him, but he just got his legs out from under him. Here's a chance earlier. Gavin making a pass right across the ice to uh, Sean Chambers and Harudi coming across and just getting the pad on it as the puck's going towards the net. But the North Stars trailing by one have to kill this penalty. They've done a good job on the two other power plays that the Kings had, not really giving them any kind of good chances. They've got to make certain that they corral Gretzky, especially behind the net, and watch the point men that like to come into the center. Now Los Angeles on its third power play of the night with Bellows off for tripping at 4.08 of the third period. Bellows getting the power play goal from Prop and Gagne at 2.47. Bellows' 34th goal, as I mentioned, 18th of the power play. 71 points for Brian Bellows this year, and 33 of them have come on the power play. Kelly Rudy for Los Angeles. Now Bellows sweating out the tripping penalty. North Star penalty killers. Gavin and Berezan, Tenorti, and Rob Settler. Lobatai out of the corner. Berezan will whack at it behind the net. Tenorti there, played it up the wing boards. Here's Steve Duchesne to rank wide, but Berezan will swing it away. Gavin hustling after it. Kelly Rudy, the Kings goalie, rips it away to the far side. And Steve Duchesne try to poke it out. Berezan pops it right in again. Brian Benning now for Los Angeles. Kings come out with one minute to go on their power play. Leading now 3-2, 14.49 to go. And as Wilkinson tries to clear, now it does come out. Poke at it by Rob Blake of the Kings. Neil Wilkinson killing now with Johnson, Berezan, and Gavin. Change the forwards here in a bit. Here's Blake turned back by Stu Gavin. Neil Wilkinson in his own zone. And he clears it all the way down. And now only half a minute remains in the Los Angeles Kings' third power play of the night. Early third, the Stars' power play goal by Bellows makes it a 3-2 Kings lead. Over the line, Robitaille. Gretzky in the circle right in front, but picked off by Zettler. It never got on to Casey, and Mark Bureau will clear it all the way down. Stars continuing to give L.A. all kinds of problems, not letting them come into their zone and controlling the puck at all. Good aggressive forechecking by the Stars, keeping the Kings off balance thus far. John Tonelli on the power play for Los Angeles. Steve Casper centering Smale had a piece of it. A pop there by Larry Robinson and Casey slammed the door. That's the end of the power play. North Stars full strength. Here they come back. Bellows just out of the penalty box straight to center. Broken up. Got it back himself. Fencing with Tonelli. Bellows still there. Hauled down from behind. No penalty as the puck goes on the wing boards. Smale floats one on to Rudy. Behind the net they go. Here's Larry Robinson for Los Angeles. Now the Kings, Don Tonelli brings it away. Tonelli around a check. Pestered as he goes deep down there by Brian Glenn. Up to the point, Marty McSorley will keep it alive for Los Angeles. Popped away from Sandstrom as he's all locked up deep with Chambers. Mike Madonna now comes to center for Minnesota. Lock to the right side, here's Brock. Brian Brock cuts it, fires, save by Rudy. Madonna for the rebound, it just rolled away as he went off balance to his left. Gretzky brings the puck back out with Tony Granato. Granato shoots a save by Casey. Granato actually got his own rebound again. Gretzky trying to wrap it. Taken down by Glenn. Here's Prop at neutralize. Rob Blake for Los Angeles. Over the line, off his skate, poked by Bobby Smith. A drive by Sandstrom, and he scores. Thomas Sandstrom whacked it into the twine and it popped right back out again. But clearly it was in the net. And the Kings make it a two-goal game again as Sandstrom makes it 4-2 Los Angeles at 7.33. Well, Sandstrom gets good wood on it. It actually looked like that puck was rolling a bit, but he shot it hard from 40 feet out and 
just seemed to handcuff Casey on the goal stick side up high. It looked like a nothing play after the puck was lost. Gretzky gives it to Blake, who loses it right here, and it gets knocked back to Sandstrom, and it is bouncing. See that? And he just shoots it while it's bouncing. Flutters up high, but it had some speed on it. Beat Casey up on the right side and gives the King a two-goal lead. Another lucky break. It gets poked right to Sandstrom there at the top of the circle, and he beats Casey up high. Well, Gretzky will get an assist along with Blake on Thomas Sandstrom's 45th at 733 of the third. You know, we talked about Gretzky having a goal-scoring drought, which was overcome with a pair against Edmonton the other day, but he had a long assist streak, a streak that was ended in that one. Obviously, he scored the only two goals of the game, so obviously he didn't get an assist. He had assists for a record 23 straight games. He's got one on that one. Sandstrom regains the team goal scoring lead at 7.33. And Gretzky's got a 25 game scoring streak going at the same time. What's most amazing about it is the next closest scorer on the Kings is halfway to what his point total is. And that's Luke Robotai. He's 80 points behind Gretzky. Gretzky now with 162 points in the year with a goal and an assist tonight. And Robotai with a goal now has a grand total. And it, you know, you wonder, it's, it looks like a lot of 90. 11.44 to go, Kings four, the North Stars two. We'll be right back. North Stars hockey, take one. Here they come, here they come, they're playing. Come on, right, come on, relax, move the camera. Oh, look, look, look. Fast. Hey, come on now, come on. What a save! Did you get it? That I remember. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Oh, All right, now, come on, come on, get number four. Yeah, number four. Yeah, Order a pair of 91-92 season tickets and we'll give you one more free. You see a happy Los Angeles crowd celebrating as the Kings move out 4-2 to two ahead of the Stars. Yeah, you get to see shots like that because it's their television shot we're taking. <laughs> Just in case you wonder why we show things like that, we don't have a choice. They've got a big market too. They broadcast as far as Hawaii. Some of the games go to Hawaii, some go into Arizona. They've got a wide cable base here. And radio network goes into Phoenix as well. Mexican radio station they're on this year. XTRA in Tijuana. 30 years ago, if anybody told you you were going to hear hockey on a station in Tijuana, <laughs> you thought he was in to something rather strange. I went to Tijuana last year and I was in a shop buying a jacket, and the fellow asked the person with me where we were from, and he said, Minnesota, and he said, Oh, there's hockey up there. He said, Yeah, he says, Hockey came to California last year. Nope. That's when Gretzky got traded there. <laughs> he didn't realize it was there since 67. Why, well, there are. He's not alone, I yeah. have a feeling, too. Hockey game to California. <laughs> Last year. Here is the North Star end, and the puck comes out from Rob Zettler for Tenorti. Now Zettler again at his own blue line. 4-2 Los Angeles, 10.51 to go in the game with Lou Danny and our producer-director Tom Mee. This is Doug McLeod at the Great Western Forum in Los Angeles. Back with you Sunday night in St. Louis for the season finale against the Blues. And then, of course, we'll have all the road playoff games here on Receptive Channel 9. The West Sports Channel brings you the Stars and the Blackhawks on Saturday night at Met Center. Tonelli goes for it at neutral, but Sean Chambers there. Now here's Churlin. McCray lost it to Tonelli. Open on the right side. The drive is right on to Casey from Kodelski. And McCray will lift that one away. Ryan Benning at his own blue line for Los Angeles. That stays playable. Sean Chambers do wheel after it for Minnesota. Now they'll whistle it down. 10.06 to go. It's the Kings four, Stars two. Now 16,005 here tonight. The Kings have their 34 sellout. A great season at the gate for them as well as in the standings as they're looking to win their first division title with a win over the North Stars would put them in good position. The Flames were tied by Edmonton tonight after the Flames had jumped out to a 4 0 lead. Edmonton came back and tied him. So at this point, Calgary sitting with 98 points, LA with 100, but LA in position here to go to 102 if they can beat the North Stars. Game of the year so far could be their finale. Sunday afternoon. More about that in a minute as this long through pass did not work for Bob Kadelski. Check now by Wilkinson in the North Stars zone. Madonna. There again is John Tonelli. It is loose. Kadelski got a little swat at it, but Madonna will turn it out of the corner. 
Bounding puck, Mike Madonna angles it away for Gagne. Two on one with Madonna. A nice little jack, a shot, oh, a save by Rudy. What oh, a little deep by Gagne. He centered Madonna. Now Gagne tried to center it again. What a nice play by Gagne, centering Madonna, and you got to force a big save on a shot like that. Oh, and the shot oh, went oh, through. Oh. Rudy just got enough of it to change its direction and went right through his pads, just missed the corner. Great pass by Gagne. Oh right through the legs of the defenseman. Blast right on to Casey from Thomas Sandstrom. Sandstrom holds on. He's talking about that big finale up at Calgary. It's a 12.30 game in that time zone on Sunday. No, it's not. It was going to yeah, be right. a 12.30 game in <laughs> Calgary. Is that actually officially changed? It is official. Well, it wasn't changed. What happened, you're looking at the shot by Sandstrom on Casey. They didn't want to change the game it was the scheduled. The game was scheduled for the evening, uh, for the afternoon, and Calgary or, or tried to change it to the evening. That's tried right. To change it to evening. And then John Except Ziegler, no. Rogi Vachon, right, got yeah. in, involved. And uh, Calgary wanted to have two complete days of rest. And you can't change they play it. Friday. That's right. You can't change the schedule after the season started unless the other team concurs. Calgary didn't even call Vachon, so he went to Ziegler and uh, said no way. That's right. So that it is 12. That's right. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that was that was my point. L.A. Yeah. had said you are not getting the full. They wanted it. Calgary's reason, as I understand it, was they wanted a bigger television exposure and so on for the game. <laughs> you know, they don't want to play at noon if they can play at 7.30 after they've just had a day and a half of rest, and L.A. said, yeah, right. Especially since this is L.A.'s last game till then. That's right. So, so much for that, pal. 4-4 four, four Oilers and Flames is an overtime final tonight. Eight and a half to go. Kings four, stars two. Now Wayne Gretzky at his own blue line. Oh. <laughs> Gretzky. Everybody gets all excited. But sorely for Gretzky, Sandstrom's blast blocked by Zettler. Gretzky just doing a little pylon skate. Now Sandstrom, here's McSorley, saved by Casey, but the rebound to Granado goes in. Oh. What an effort by Gretzky. He played around in center ice for about 10 seconds. Stick handle away from three people. He gets over the blue line, draws traffic, and maybe the best play of all was the way he got that pass through traffic over to his left winger Sandstrom, and then eventually the puck gets worked right back to that man, Granado, who gets his 30th of the year. Watch this. Good little play right here from Sandstrom over to the defenseman. He takes a shot, and then here's Granado right in front. Look at Granado. Wide open net, and he puts it away. I wish we could start that a little farther back when you saw Gretzky doing his capers. But Granado with a wide open net, his 30th of the year. And the Kings up 5-2. to two. And Sarley and Sandstrom will get points on this one at 11.50 of the third. Granado's 30th, 5-2 Los Angeles. And that's amazing. Gretzky doesn't even get a point on that play after he just mesmerized everybody for about 15 seconds. There are occasions when you wish you could... Uh, just assign the third assist, you know, just because it righteously deserved. 5 2 the Kings, 7.45 to go in the third. Well, here's a great one, and it was a great trade getting him here for hockey. Watch this. Because he sure made hockey in this state and all over the U.S. He's got more recognition because of it. And here he goes. He's being bothered in center ice. He keeps skating away from people. He gets hooked here, still finds his way. Well, look at him. Look at that. Now, watch this. He gets a pass across after all that. He still makes the play right to McSorley. And after that, the ensuing play resulted in a goal. And it was even prettier from up here where we had a high angle on it. He was the X and everybody else was the O's. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's a good way to put it. Gavin shoots one through the lip of the goal crease. It's 5-2 the Kings, 7.25 to go third period. Now the puck in the Los Angeles zone. Gavin a tap at it. Popped away deep, long range drive wide. Kings come out, Ellick. Long cross ice pass now. Dave Taylor checked by Glenn as he tried to get it unloaded. Gavin away from Robitaille. And that'll come out with 6.58 to go in the third period. It is the Kings five, the North Stars two. Penalties coming now, Smale. And, of course, McSorley with a paw thrown in there. Brian Glenn over to see what's what. I'm not really sure how that all started. 
That was away from the play, or away from the puck anyway. But uh, Alec was. Well, it started with Smale over in the far side and Alec, and then McSorley got in there, so Gagne got in there, and then Glynn got in there, and Taylor, so everybody started getting involved in it. Now everybody's in there. 6.58 to go in the third. Kings five, stars two. We'll sort all this out and be right back. Well, the North Stars are getting an advantage out of this because Smale and Alec were roughing, and McSorley got in there as the third man. Nope, now he's going to give one to Gagne. Oh. So he's going to even it all out. It'll be coincidental minors. And now Bellows comes off the bench to talk to Hogarth. Gainey sent Bellows off to ask him why Gagne got one and the Kings didn't get an extra one because the Kings had two on one there for a moment. But Hogarth's not going to change mine. And we'll have a five on five when play resumes with the Kings leading five to two. 13 02 of the third, the time of all these penalties. Smale and Gagne for the North Stars, Alec and McSorley. For the King. He could give McSorley a double minor. We could end up with a power <laughs> play, but I'm not holding my breath over that one. No, I wouldn't. Creative salesmanship here. <laughs> Lou no, Danny. it's more like wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Who's, who's tried this with referees in the past on the odd occasion? Oh, hold it. He did. Hey, sir, look at this. So far, they're only showing the two to McSorley. That means that McSorley got a yep, double yep, minor, yep. which is right. Two minutes on conduct. Number six, got oh, the they, double. The slash was what apparently started yeah. everything. Well, then they got the wrong number on the board because they got McSorley's yeah. number up for the two. But in any event, well, Alec got the double, and that's what matters. We get a power play out of this. That's right. And the North Stars will be in the power play and have to get something here. They're trailing by three. Yeah, like a double minor, roughing and slashing. McSorley a minor for unsportsmanlike. Gagne got unsportsmanlike a minor. Smale got a minor for roughing. Power play number three for the North Stars, trailing five to two. Six forty to go, third period. Mike Madonna lets her go, deflected away by Steve Casper. Out of the corner from Smith for Tenorti. Floats in, they whack at it. Bellows chip shot, deflected, and Bellows down and. Bumping with Tim Waters at the whistle, and they exchange pleasantries. That one just floated over the net. Bellows, on a good play by Tenorti, just getting the puck towards the net, was in front, tried to knock it down out of the air, and then deflected into the cage and went over the top of the net. Brian Bellows giving Tim Waters a little talk, but look at this. Tenorti smart enough just to get it towards the net, which he does. There's Bellows in front. Now watch, he's going to hit this puck right out of the air. Just a piece of it by Haruti, enough to knock it away. And Haruti has just been playing outstanding of oh, late. He was great against Edmonton the other night. He's been great here tonight. Shots on goal here tonight. The North Stars are out shooting the Kings 24-23. But the Kings are winning 5-2 because Haruti has been beating the North Stars whenever they get an opportunity in close. For the most part, he's beaten them here tonight. Kelly Haruti, who posted his third shutout of the year and the 2-0 victory over Edmonton the other day. Pardon the rasp here. I get a couple days of this LA air and I like I swallowed my shoes. 627 to go in the third. 5-2 Kings. 90 seconds left of the Stars power play. Mark Tenorti teed it up. Got jumped by Casper. Bellows goes to the corner. Now Smith comes in with a check on Waters. And they dig for it. Bellows and Smith trying to pull it away from Waters. Robinson there too. Now front behind the net on one hand. Reach for it by Smith. Bellows in the corner. Ryan Bellows, nice backhand up by Tenorti, fires wide. Here's Bellows with 58 on the power play. Brian Bellows for Minnesota, starts trail by three. 5.49 now to go in the third period. Smith on the end boards, prop turning, no stick for Waters. Madonna faked the shot to the circle for Bellows. Madonna one times it up the gut, save, and down goes Casper looked like he was going to draw under him for a moment but it stays alive 33 seconds left in the Stars power play down went Madonna Tenorti now for Smith 27 in the man advantage Bobby Smith center point Tenorti shooting saved by Rudy Smith keeps it alive for Minnesota pestered by Kadelski Here's Prop right in front. The quick one, two, nothing. Prop again throws it up to the hash mark. Here's Tenorti, but he couldn't flatten it out. Madonna one time drive saved by Rudy. Kelly Rudy with another tremendous save as the Stars come up with another good play. That's the end of the power play with five minutes to go. Madonna shoots, he scores!
scores, Mike Madonna. Just as the power play expired, it's a full strength goal. Blew it right up the gut, and finally they got one in. It's five to three now. After a fabulous oh. power play by the North Stars and Haruti just beating them time and time Jeez. again, a CNI rocket by that kid Madonna finds its way into the net. Great play in the corners by Bellows and Tenorti. They keep the puck down deep, and as the puck comes out to the point, watch this bullet by Madonna. Just a CNI rocket, and boy, did he get something on that. Yeah. It seemed like it just hit Haruti's pad and overpowered it. And the North Stars get on the board, make it 5-3 with 4.55 to go. And it'll be an even strength goal strength. because the power play had ended. And I mean, just barely ended, like three seconds before. Madonna's 27th of the year on that rip snorter at 15.05. Now 5-3, Stars trim the margin to two. One thing you really like about the North Stars here in the last few months is even behind on the road, they go to work. You know, there's nobody giving up and wanting to go home. Everybody's going to roll up the sleeves, go to work, keep at it, chipping away. And no lead has been a safe lead in the late going. But another team has had it. Chambers punches it over. That's a good point, Doug. What I really like of late is the way they've played in the last two minutes when they've got to get a goal. They really are aggressive and have done a good job with the extra man when they pull their goalie. Now they scramble in front again, shot the goal! And now it's a one goal game as Brian Glenn with Rudy on the deck. Well, they keep coming back and Rudy makes another save before Glenn finally gets another chance at it and puts it away. Brian Glenn doing what the North Stars have to do now, gambling, getting involved in the play. The defenseman moving up with the play as it's kept in from the point, work down low. And here's Brian Glenn, he's way down low. You'll see the puck. Go back deep in the zone. Mark Bureau makes a play to get it in. Then Alf Dahlin gets it over in the boards. Now watch down low. Here's Glenn in front of the net. You'd seen him earlier. He has a first save and then reaches in the far side. That long reach of his puts it away for him. Now it's a one goal game. Just what we were just talking about. 4.16 to go in the third. Stars keep at it as Brian Glenn nails his eighth at 15.44 of the third. Now back comes Mike Madonna. Wilkinson. And the Kings will turn it out again. Dolan and Bureau will get the assists on Glenn's eighth of the year at 15.44 the third period. 5-4 game. Now we go right down to it with 3.45 to go. Gagne, big deep, the drive from the left side by Wilkinson. Johnson back at his own line. Stars now trail by one. Johnson fires to the stick of Rudy. Here's Luke Robitaille for the Los Angeles Kings. 30 to 23, North Stars now in shots on goal. Three and a half to go, 5-4 Kings. Gagne off the stick of Wilkinson. Then sorely out of the corner. Things are going to ice the puck here as Chambers picks it up with 3.13 to go in the third period. Now the North Stars scoring two goals 39 seconds apart and narrowed it to 5-4. To One thing they've just changed, the goal that went to Bellows, remember we were talking about Gagne down front, he did deflect it, Gagne did get the second goal. Here's Glenn's goal after the first save by Hiroti, he reaches it with that big reach of his and just puts it in the net. So change that second goal, Brian Bellows did not get it, it did get deflected by Gagne down in front of the net. Gagne got his 40th of the year, two years in a row with 40 goals. Nice to see. Very nice indeed, a power play goal it will be, nonetheless, that's the First goal of the third period for the North Stars and their second overall. 2.47 of the third period. And the North Stars still staying aggressive, going at the Kings, putting pressure on, defense getting involved in the play. Good rink-wide passing. They just missed the net on a couple of chances because they continued to put pressure on right after they made it 5-4. Looked like they were going to get the fifth one. 5-4 Kings, 3.09 to go. Here's Bellows. Shooting and deflected in a screen and out of play. I'd like to know how many deflections we've had oh, by the Los Angeles Kings on the North Stars where they just get their stick on the puck at the last minute, get it deflected over the glass. Now with three minutes, six seconds to go, the North Stars playing to tie it right now. Well knowing that they've had plenty of overtime games this year. 
and have done pretty well. In fact, 14 of their 66 points have come in overtime games. I don't mean to jump the gun here. But their last overtime win was it against these Kings. And here's he. Here's Alf Dolan now for the North Stars. Taylor for Los Angeles could not get in because John McIntyre had been tied up deep in the North Star zone, so he had to wait a minute. 2.45 to go, 5-4 Kings. Robitaille behind the North Star net. Solid wall there, Robitaille tries the other side for a deflection. That's up for grabs. Tenorti is down there, so also is McIntyre. Here comes Bellows for Minnesota. Brian Bellows. All the way through neutral. Checked as he turned back into the King zone. Wayne Gretzky got it up for Robitaille. Stopped at his tracks and Madonna turns it back in. 2.15 to go. 5-4 Los Angeles. The Kings' Larry Robinson. That's good ice. As Wilkinson hustles after it with Sandstrom and does just get there ahead of Thomas Sandstrom. 2.05 to go. 5-4 Los Angeles. And the North Stars will take all the face-offs they can get in Los Angeles zone now. Good. One, it'll give them a rest so they can play Gagne's line more often. Secondly, it'll give them a chance to win the draw. Third, it'll give them a chance to pull the goaltenders. You look at Thomas Sandstrom, who's had a great season here for the Kings, now going to the bench. The Kings will come up with their checkers as much as possible. People like Casper, Tonelli, uh, McIntyre, Kodelski, those are their top checkers, and you could expect to see them for most of the part. Doug, one thing I noticed in the Chicago game here tonight, Balfour got pulled in the third period, and Hasek got put in. Dominic so, Hasek. Yeah, and so uh, they mustn't be too happy with uh, Balfour lately. Uh, he gave up two 80-foot goals to Toronto two nights ago, and tonight when Toronto got that goal by Loisel that tied it at three for a moment, in the third period they yanked him and put in Hasek. Dominic Hasek continues to get some playing time. Milford replaced him in a recent game. Saw one shot. That went in. <laughs> Power play goal. There what? was much shaking of the head. Well, what happened there was it was a five on three right. at the time, and so he wanted to pull Hasek and go with his hot hand. It was a big game, but uh, turned out to be a, <laughs> didn't quite pan out. 31 24 stars and shots on goal. 2.05 to go in the third period. It is Kings 5, Stars 4. Discussion of Brian Glenn over in the North Star bench. Cap Raider with a few words there on the Kings bench. Rick Wilson with his arms up in the air like, why don't we drop the puck? Former assistant to North Dakota, among other things. Well, I like the way the Stars keep battling back. As you were saying earlier, they're not out of any games. No. Boy, they just keep coming at you in the third period. This is the best in a couple of years that they've been playing late in the game. They're tying games with the goalie out. They've been able to win games late in the game. In the third period, they're starting to feel that they've got confidence that they can come from behind, something that's very important going into the playoffs. They were down 5-3 to three until Madonna blasted one in at 15.05, and then Glenn, 39 seconds later, nailed his eighth. Now L.A. leads by one under two minutes oh. to go right to the goal post, and Rudy had it in there somewhere. What a chance. <laughs> Point blank. Mr. Rudy has just been playing great for it. Right on the doorstep, Alf Dahlin with a point-blank shot. Rudy making the save. God, a good play from behind the net. You see the pass come out, and that was Dahlin right behind the net. Smith very wisely tying up the defense in front and allowing Dahlin to be free to take that shot. And Dahlin was beaten by a Rudy, and the game stays 5-4 the Kings, 154 to go here in the third period. North Stars back home for the regular season finale at home ice against the Chicago Blackhawks on Saturday night. Sunday night will wrap up the regular season campaign at St. Louis right here on Receptive Channel 9. I sure hope you'll be with us. Now the faceoff coming in the Kings zone to the right of the goal as Rudy looks at it. Smith, Dolan, Bellows with North Stars Goalie John Casey had pulled at 18.06 of the third period. Madano, Gagne, Tenorti. And the Kings ship it out of the zone. Won't go into the empty net. Madano and Smith sail back and icing on Los Angeles. Boy, I don't know how the Kings player missed putting his hand on the puck and passing it. That would have, that's allowed now anyway, but that was a good play for him to make get it out of harm's way because Bobby Smith had that sentiment tied up long enough. 
when Bobby's able to tie up that centerman that long, the Kings have got to be eliminated. The players there have got to be taken up by the North Stars because the North Stars have an extra man and they've got to come up with that loose puck. But the Kings came up with it instead and they just went for the open net and missed it. That's what it looks like from the North Stars end where there's no sign of life because John Casey's on the bench as we mentioned. Six on five advantage the empty net behind trailing five to four with a minute 44 to go. Here we go a swat at it by Gagne. Smith behind the net. Big finish on the road here for the North Stars. How will it end? Madonna for the point. Bellows got nailed right in front. Tenorti a high stick right in his face it looked like by McSorley. Maybe not. Might have caught him on the helmet. Here's Marty McSorley. And John McIntyre eyeing the empty net. Missed it. Bobby Smith trying to get it out of the zone. Kept in by Casper. Here's McIntyre. Madonna and Smith go after it. And the empty net goal goes to Kodelski. Robert Kodelski with a minute 12 to go. Made 6 6 4 Los Angeles into the empty North Star net. He swatted it right out of the air. Good play by McIntyre. He went behind the net and waited for somebody to come and just dumped it out front. And Kodelski coming in, trailing the play right in the middle. Watch this, McIntyre going behind, he stops and takes a look right here and just dumps it, flips it right out front, right out of the air. Look at that, Kodelski. A little bit lucky there, but a good baseball player <laughs> can do it, and he must be able to hit a baseball because he knocked that one right out of the air into the open net, and the Kings go up by two. Empty net goal by Bob Kodelski. It was, I mentioned earlier, had been missed, had missed seven or eight games with a bruised ankle and is only just getting back into the lineup. That will be Kodelski's 23rd goal of the year. Casey is back in now with one minute to go in the third period. Sailed through everybody, and Casey will haul that away from Wayne Gretzky. I hope. I hope Dolan. 49 seconds to go in the third. Stars trail now by two, six to four. Glenn over the line. Bobby Smith. Wilkinson for the North Stars. There goes Casey again, off at 19-23. Six on five again, shot score! It's a one goal game with 34 seconds to go as Mike Madano gets his second of the game. Madano came off the bench when Casey went to the bench. Madano was the late man on the play, came in from the blue line and saw an opening Rather than seeing up high, he went for it. He went down low and he gets that puck right in front of Rudy, comes across the goal mouth and scores again with 34 seconds to go. Watch Madano, he's gonna come right down low, right there, steals that puck in front and puts it away and puts the North Stars back within one. As we say, they don't die, <laughs> they keep coming at you. And we'll have a timeout now. Stars coach Bob Gainey calls time with 34 seconds to go in regulation time. He said optimistically, with the Kings leading, but now it's six to five. Madonna scoring his second of the game and 28th of the year at 1926 to the third with the extra man advantage and Casey on the bench. So it's six to five, and again we go right down to the wire with the North Stars, and I'll tell you, but for Kelly Rudy. This could have gone as a North Star win already. Smith and Bellows will get the assists on Madonna's goal at 19:26 of the third period. The North Stars with 33 shots here tonight have put pressure on throughout this game. They've had a pretty consistent attack and really victimized by two flu goals by Los Angeles. And some of these have got to start turning the North Stars way. It happened huh. in Washington the other night, Doug. Yep. They got a goal from 80 feet, a weird bounce. I saw the tape. They, yep. They've been getting some of these strange goals against us, and I think <laughs> maybe our luck's going to start to change at the right time, right Good. before the playoffs. I just as soon have them go right now and then change in the playoffs. <laughs> Casey will get over as soon as he can. Half a minute to go in the third, six to five. Casey is off at 1931 of the third period. There's a swap, nothing doing there. Cleared out of the king zone. Empty net ahead for Donnelly. Hit the goal post. I gotta wonder how long it could take to hit an empty net. Kudelski couldn't go. 12 seconds left in the third period. Here comes Gagne. Seven seconds to go. Oh. He threaded it through for Bellows and it just popped away. Oh, what a play. That's the end of the game, but oh man, the woulda, coulda, 
should have are getting ridiculous now. What a great play. And, oh, 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 man. But it's over. And the Kings win the game. Unbelievable. Oh, oh man. That is the end of this one. It is Los Angeles 6 and the North Stars with a four goal explosion in the third. Five. We'll be right back at the Forum in Los Angeles.